Fishing, food, friends, music, rest, we needed it. So we took off for Marietta, Ohio and our friends, the Chichesters. Hi there, we are in Lowell, Ohio on Buell Island, which I call Chichester Island because our friends Dave and Tracy Chichester live here, a really nice place. And we're doing a little fishing this afternoon. Really a beautiful day, just a beautiful day. Having a lot of fun. So since she won't bait the hook for me, I had to do it myself. Got it right down the line. So Muskegon River. I don't know if you can see it up there, but there's like a a dam thing, levee thing. This is our pre-harvest vacation because when harvest comes, there'll be no rest. We love museums and heard about this great older home. We are at Henderson Hall. House has been owned through many generations. Last Henderson passed away. He willed it to the state. You know, we call them hoarders or whatever, but they have kept everything. Receipts from things from from a hundred years ago or whatever. House just has got all the furniture in it that it ever had. This says no photography. Henderson Hall. While we're here, and no one's answering the door, but we see the lady in there. We're just gonna hang out. It's really quite peaceful. Well, we did take one picture. We're at the very top of the house. This is called the Belvedere because it had a French influence, but in town it's called a widow's walk. And it is used to ventilate the home through the venting of the boards and the windows. Heading back home, this bridge takes us over the Ohio River. My grandfather, William Giesland, was a bridge inspector for the state of Alabama, so I have a place in my heart for bridges. We're entering our good old Ohio, going to head back to the Chichester Island. Our friends are bluegrass people. Some of them are musicians. Give you a little taste of what we get to enjoy all night tonight. Couldn't, couldn't be a nicer place. And that, folks, is jamming. Stick with us to see whose fish is bigger. A trolley tour, Morgan's Raid, a tornado warning, and a very, very sweet song by a sweet man, Dave Chichester.
Next, Tracy lined up trolley car uh, tour of Marietta, Ohio. Here we're seeing the mounds, those, um, the cemetery. See that mound right there? And in the next picture, you'll see a mound. Those are Indian ceremonial mounds. This is the Basilica of the St. Mary of Assumption Church. Up at the top is all copper. That is the dome inside of the church. Just magnificent uh, carvings. And the windows were unbelievable. This just doesn't do it justice. Those are real angels that are carved. This as well. Just a beautiful, beautiful church. There's Mike with his mask. We're being safe. This is the Washington County Courthouse. Here's a glimpse at the Valley Gem Sternwheeler. They have a huge Sternwheeler show on the river every year. These are actual grist mill stones that were worked in and made as the foundation for the current Marietta College Boathouse. Marietta is filled with old homes. This is a home that is being used as a sorority. And this is just another one of the many fine homes that they have. Marietta has many museums. This is the Ohio River Boat Museum, and that is a flat boat that is still in existence. This was Chicken Day, and we were all on the porch relaxing while Bubbles and Grassman worked their tooties off making uh, chicken over the fire. It was so, so delicious. Of course, at least one of the mornings would not be complete without um, Bubbles' is wonderful, as Mike said, best sausage gravy and biscuits he's ever had. And then Michael brought homemade raspberry, black raspberry ice cream. It was delicious. Here you're seeing the riverfront area that um, Dave has made, my friend Tracy, and a slow motion fire. We decided to go to the Campus Maritus Museum, which was full of the local history, and Mike had to find the Morgan's Raid historical marker. This is overlooking the Ohio River, and if you listen, you can hear a speedboat going down the river, having a good time. Okay, this was the last day, and actually we were getting ready to leave. This is the best part of the whole trip. Me and my buddy been fishing all weekend, every day. Caught a few little ones, not much. I walk away for 10 minutes and my wife catches this. Much thanks goes to Grassman for helping me get that big catfish up where we could see it. So now, about a half hour later, it's Mike's turn. Oh, looky there! Yeah, he does all the work. That's when you have good friends. Here you go. Thank you. We're missing three other couples, but we had to say our farewells, and off we headed down the road. So uh, here we are, about an hour from home, after leaving our wonderful fishing trip and our our joyous, wonderful time away, and. Uh, we're having a candlelight dinner in our camper. In the Lowe's parking lot. Because it is raining and actually a tornado warning sort of somewhere around here. We're going to enjoy some Culver's and then head on home. So that's the end of our trip, isn't it? Yep. Give me back, back to reality. Yeah, back to reality. Give me a kiss. Mwah. All right. Take care. Hope you had fun with us. 
please share this video and get our little Vogelville USA YouTube channel around so others can enjoy just the everyday life of a farmer and the things that we go through. God bless America and we wish you the best from Vogelville USA.